Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. Welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from Spirit. How are you all feeling? How did your Monday turn out? I'm really curious. Feel free to share in the comments what you noticed, uh, what clarities came to you with that kind of last energy of the moon there. I It's, it's interesting to say the least. All right, so this week I'm using the Awakening Avalon Oracle deck that we created at Avalon Spirit. And if you are wanting to get that deck for yourself, it is in the description box below. So let's see here, what does Spirit have to share today? Yesterday was like a strong, poignant start to the week. Um, we're stepping into those energies of March happening. We March starts officially on Friday. It's just getting like faster and faster, the energy. Ooh, there's just like a hush. Normally they're chit like chitty chatty. Okay, let's see. It's in the cards here. Interesting. Oh. Ooh. Four. Okay. Very interesting. Um, okay, first card out is notice the numbers. This says, watch for spirit messages and numbers. There's two things I wanna talk about with this card. Now, first of all, uh, notice the numbers. Notice what number signs are coming up for you. There can be lots of different number patterns happening right now for you based on what's happening in your life. We are in an energy still technically of February, so that's a two. Twos have been coming up a lot. We had two, two, two recently. Number eight is also a big number, uh, bringing through that kind of flow state energy. We're in a number eight year. Um, I want to speak though about the fact that we're being given this five. Now the reason why I chose the image of the number five on this card is because spirit gives me the number five in mediumship sessions to signify something changing. And then if I see the five flip the other way, I know something is changing back to an old way that it was before. So Spirit is number one, wanting to give you messages through numbers. So notice what numbers are coming up for you. I know for me, I've been seeing 777 a ton. I have seen so many license plates in the last three days of 777, and these are different cars too. It's unreal. Like it's actually even higher than I would think would be like a probability of seeing them. It's, it's kind of funny, but again, I'm like, okay, Spirit, I get it. Thank you, 777. Now, Notice the numbers that are coming up for you as well. We're getting this number five here because we are going through change. It is changing and it has been changing. So yes, we could say that's a common theme, but the speed at which we're moving through things, that makes for rapid change in many ways. As well, we're on to a newer uh, parallel reality, a, a greater divide of 3D and 5D. That means change. We have changed into a different branch of it now. So what before was like a singular branch has now divided into two different branches, one being 3D, one being 5D consciousness. Okay, this is a level of consciousness. So the fact that we, are stepped, we have stepped into that 5D branch means there is bigger change underway as well. So we have collective change and we have lots of individual change and those, one of the ways spirit can help give clarity to those things is through numbers, right? Number patterns. So that's why this card really has a double meaning. So within all that change, spirit is saying there is also value in rest. And I like that this card came up here, take time to rest and recover, because rest is a big key thing. Even when things are good, and even when things um, are moving in the direction we want, rapid change still induces a, a heightened energy and that still creates a drain on our energy. We need to recalibrate that. So consider where can you fit in rest in your day? What does that look like for you? Um, I know that I've been making a big effort to put pockets of rest in my day really consciously. Like I'll even kind of schedule it in. Like here's a half hour to like, I have nothing in that half an hour and I'm not going to put anything in that half hour. So when that half hour comes up, what do I want to do about it? Or if there's an hour here or, you know, just time for the varying ways that we can rest. And sometimes that's active rest. Sometimes that's having a nap. 
sometimes it's um, going for a walk, but it's like resting the being. So that's one thing to consider is how do you need to rest your being? Is it your body that needs the focus of rest? Is it your mind? Um, maybe your spiritual self just needs a little bit of rest. So maybe you put your time into being very 3D. Again, it's, it's up to you how you do that, but consider where rest is calling you because it's helping you to balance everything out. And then the other one is um, opening your heart chakra right now. This is gonna be also a big focus because there's a big thing about taking down the barriers around our heart. And I talked about this in Cosmic Consciousness last week in the Divine Union Within Self. When we center ourselves in our heart space, we then have an ability to really create from that point the reality in which we want to be in, create and manifest new ideas, heal old wounds within the safety and sanctuary of our heart space. And that's all within the heart chakra. And then our heart is really this beautiful leader of our soul's desire. Like a lot of you have asked at various times, what does this tattoo mean? And it means I will follow my heart. Because I know that in my life, my heart has always led me to where I've needed to be at different times. And my head might be thinking a certain thing, but if I give my heart voice as well, and I give my head voice as well, and bring the two of them together, then I really can find some amazing experiences. And so heart chakra is a big one for many of you to consider. Are you listening to the energies and the voice of your heart also? Sometimes people call that like a soul song. We all have a soul song and it is sung through the energy of the heart, where your heart calls you to be. So are you listening to that? And then the other message for today, and this always goes a long way, is gratitude. Giving thanks. Give thanks for where you are, where you've come from, what you've manifested, the connections you have, because when you are in any kind of change point energy, and you, you approach that change point with gratitude for you know the, the good things and the challenging things, your ability to create and grow and transform through that change point is huge. It is like amplified. It's like adding gasoline to a fire. That amount of power can come through when we put gratitude into the experiences, even when the experiences are challenging or even when the experiences are really small and we may think they're really simplistic. Having gratitude for the simplicity also goes a really long way. So something to consider. Gratitude also helps to open up the heart chakra. When we start to become grateful for things, it softens that area within our heart. And for some of you, opening up that heart chakra may actually give you the opportunity to rest in whichever way you need. So a really beautiful message today to balance out this fast-paced, changing, transformational post-moon kickoff month. Like, honestly, there is so much going on right now. and it really desires to work with you. So we'll leave that with all of you for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Tuesday. I hope you have a beautiful day. Please do subscribe, share, like your comments. I do read them. They're beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing little bits of your world with me in those. It's, it's, it's so lovely. So thank you. And I wish you all a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow.